Charlene and Caroline de Monaco traveled together to celebrate International Children's Rights Day, but their approach has nothing to do with their real and complicated relationship. The relationship of Caroline, 66, and Charlene de Monaco, 45, has always come under scrutiny. Although the Royal House of Monaco has always acted cautiously and never commented on the matter, the truth is that rumors have always assured that the sisters-in-law can't stand each other. That's why it is surprising to see their latest and complicit meeting during the celebration of the International Day of the Rights of the Child, an event organized by the City Council in the Princess Antoinette Park, where they participated in various activities surrounded by the youngest. Meanwhile, could not miss the common children of the princess and her husband Alberto, twins Jacques and Gabriella, who are about to turn nine years old. But they were not the only ones, Balthazar, five years old, Carlotta Casiraghi's second son by Dimitri Rassam and Caroline's grandson, was also able to have fun there, the true relationship of Charlene and Caroline de Monaco. At first glance, Princess Charlene of Monaco has a lot in common with her sister-in-law. Both women care for the principality and fulfill their royal duties with elegance and discretion. But not only that, the two have fought the relentless attention of the European tabloid press and have had children who have inherited the Monegasque throne at one time or another. Despite their parallel lives, however, everything about their relationship has been about discomfort. As royal expert Arlene Pislou explained in her book Charlene, In Search of a Princess, there is only one ally of the princess in the royal household, and it's not Caroline. Apparently Princess Estefania, younger and more rebellious, was the person who offered her support to the consort. In the writer's opinion, one has to wonder if they are simply incompatible, if there is a major generation gap. After all, Charlene was born in 1978 and Caroline was born in 1957. In that sense, the lack of closeness between them can be explained by their age difference. The truth is, it's hard to say exactly why the two princesses don't get along. However, over the years, details of their relationship have leaked to the press. From a dispute over the coveted position of first lady to the exclusion of certain dates from Monegasque society, which has made the relationship between Charlene and Caroline more strained than ever. One of the reasons why the princesses don't have the best relationship may be due to past wounds, particularly the tragic death of Grace Kelly. On September 13, 1982, the Hollywood star turned queen failed to control his car and fell off a cliff. He died a day later. According to the Express, Alberto's sister reacted by stepping forward to take her mother's place. After Grace's death, a miracle happened. Carolina put herself in her mother's place. She has the same spirit that she had. The way she is handling the job I have given her is very good. I am very satisfied and proud, Prince presumably said to Rainier, when Rainier died in 2005 and Prince Albert II ascended the throne, Caroline was left in the same position. At the time, he was single and was known to many as the Playboy Prince. Therefore, the monarch's older sister may have thought she would always be the first lady. It took Alberto a long time to settle down, so maybe she thought he would never stabilize his personal life, Brittany Barger told the aforementioned media outlet. Thus, when he finally fell in love with his wife, tensions rose. When Charlene appeared on the scene and they got married, Caroline had to take a step back, which caused resentment, he adds. It was in 2011 when the princess became the official first lady of Monaco, not only taking on many of her royal duties, but also receiving the attention that her sister-in-law had previously had. There were also rumors that Caroline was not supportive of her brother's wedding. In fact, the trouble started when South African photographer David Creighton said he received images of them allegedly fighting over an engagement ring. They were just fingers pointing in each other's faces, he told the News 24 program. It is impossible to verify whether the discussion actually existed or not, as the images were never recovered. The palace wants to buy my silence, added the worker, who also admitted that Alberto's sister and his younger sister, Princess Estefania, nicknamed her Charlene. They called her Princess Barbie and it wasn't a compliment, he said, Charlene, who has been heavily criticized. Always struggling to find her place in Monaco society, 
Charlene admitted that it took her a lot of effort for people to recognize and accept her. Although I have met wonderful people since living here, I consider them all acquaintances. I only have two people I consider friends, the princess told Tatler magazine. If relations between the sisters-in-law were strained, the birth of the twins could have changed everything, but the truth is that the arrival of Jacques and Gabriella has intensified the allegedly bad relationship. After all, they had changed the family line of succession, Caroline and her children were excluded forever. Although she was upset, the truth is that she never wanted the crown for herself, but, she said, she believed in the possibility for her son Andrea Kasiragi. Caroline's gesture that sparked Charlene's anger. In the midst of all these rumors, it seems that Carolina would have decided to take sides in raising her brother's children, which Charlene would not have liked very much. She is determined to mold the twins, especially Jacques, the heir, according to her idea of what a little prince should be like. And this makes Charlene desperate because she sees that her sister-in-law is influencing the twins, said the real expert. Curiously, the spouse has made it clear that she does not want her children to grow up among the pressures of the palace. In addition, Alberto's sister missed some of her sister-in-law's favorite events. It is said that Andrea and Carlotta's mother even boycotted one of the gala concerts because she hates the princess musical taste. And even if everything goes against them and it seems like they hate each other, at the end of the day they have to make it clear that family stays together.